Hello YouTube, uh, this is Knife Sharpening Norway. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I sharpen a factory new swilling knife, a swilling 5 star. don't know how well you can see this, but this is brand new from the factory. And yeah, uh, to all that like swilling, uh, yeah, it does the job, but for a knife so you see it's actually okay tin but it yeah it isn't tin uh, enough and uh, yeah it's completely dull in my eyes I mean it cuts it but it's very very coarse it's jagged and I don't know how well you can see this, but yeah, it tears the fibers more than it cuts them. So I'm gonna take it to a Naniva Professional 400 and then a Naniva Toshi 2000 with. Uh, I did this video just to show that yeah this is a soft knife it's rockwell is 56 i think hrc 56 japanese knives are often over 60 so yeah i don't like german knives the miyabi knives some of them are okay but they're too thick yeah too overpriced same with the kramer knives i like my japanese knives i'm sorry the one thing that is great about this is the handle, it's very light knife, but yeah, it's sharp here and yeah, I would expect more, but yeah, I'm gonna sharpen it pretty low to thin it and um, then go higher and higher and put the micro bevel on it, so yeah, I'm gonna start around here. Just to thin it in. And my main sharpening is gonna be up there. So from here to there. I'm just gonna start. And there it's gonna be scratchy. I'm gonna scratch up the knife, but yeah, I don't really care. I'm all about performance, so I don't care how it looks. dash of water and I'm trying to utilize the full width of the stone I was checking the camera there that's why I run off the stone okay. accidents happen and as you see the stone is turning black that's the receiving stone As you can see, I'm starting to get a Shinogi line here, and I want that to be uniform for the entire knife. Before I move, so I'm changing the geometry of the knife. I know I'm far, far from the edge. So I'm guessing the edge is 18 or 20. This is around 2 3 degrees. So. See, this is far from flat from factory. This is actually pretty terrible ground. Well, Shibata got a near perfect Shinogi line because it's near perfect from factory. See here. 
This is actually pretty terrible ground. I don't care if machines do it and it's supposed to be perfect because it ain't. It's far from good. The Japanese knives are all better. You see that? The huge spot here, it's got way much there and how wavy it is. That isn't me. I can show you another knife. This is huge, so see how even that is? It's like near a perfect Shinogi, it's a bit here, but yeah, that's actually my fault. And uh, the slur, it's the same here. Perfect height. So yeah, the knife is actually a pretty terrible ground, so I need to make it flat again. Or make it even. So yeah, I never liked swilling or swilling ankles uh, or German knives like dicks or French sabatier carbon is better in my opinion. But yeah, they work. It's like low ball. They work, they aren't very good, but they do the job. I like high performance knives. My knives are all about cutting, all about perfect geometry. starting to getting a little bit better so. you see starting to help I'm gonna thin it like crazy I'm now gonna uh, tilt it a little more up also. Just say from 2 3 degrees to around 5 and 6. This is to make it bend towards the edge, making it more convex. And then after I'm gonna blend it all together. In over. I'm gonna use a little more pressure to speed things up. This is yeah, it isn't a performance knife, but I'm gonna make it into one. That's the great thing when you can sharpen, you can make a blade perform. Still, if it isn't a high performance knife. Just flipping the stone. So now I'm rocking. So I'm doing a little bit of this. Not so much, maybe like this when I'm sharpening. Just to blend the face together. If that makes sense. I flip the stone just to make sure even there. I'm 
One thing I can say about this, it's easy to sharpen. It's easy to maintain just with a butcher steel or ceramic rod. That's the main positive about the knife. Good on the left side. I'm gonna switch to the right. See, still filming. And I'm not flat, I'm just a couple of degrees that's flat. Then the entire knife flat, and I'm tilting that amount, maybe one, two degrees over flat. I'm doing this because I have some pals that think swilling and blah 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 is the best knives out there, blah blah blah. It says on the knife, 5 star, Fyodor, ice hardened, and people think that means quality. Yeah. <laughs> my Shibata, my Takamura. My Sakum, etc. blows away every swilling knife out there, in my opinion. I tested the swilling Sakum, the 5 star, the bunches. I tested Kramer's. Yeah. Not uh, Kramer Custom, of course. But uh, uh, Euroline, I tested both the carbon and stainless. And, uh, is it Meiji, Meiji or something with the Damask, fake Damascus finish and yeah. They are good knives, don't get me wrong, good steel, good heat rate, but they are far from the geometry and the hardness of a Japanese knife. Why use that much money to buy a simple steel like 5200 at 60 etc or ABL? When I can get SG2, SRS15, Ogami 2, Blue Super, etc. That is both harder and better. And the geometry is a huge factor, how thin it is. You see that's that side. That's that side. Look how terrible ground the knife is. I mean, that's not me. I know it can seem like it, but none of my other knives are like this. It's only this knife, so I can show you if you don't believe me. As I showed you, this knife is very good. Both sides are very good. That's done by me. You can see it in the video, so I'm not lying here. I can show you. Uh, Takamura That's hard to see but you can see it there Better on this side Also done by me, very uniform uh, Sakun Also very uniform as you can see Even a uh, cheap Victorinox is better than this, as you can see here. And this I've been through a belt grinder for Jesus sake and used and abused. So, there's something wrong with how they have ground this knife. It's completely rubbish. Um, it's good it's cheap. I paid 150 Danish crowns for this. So they wanted 550, but I got it for 150 because I yeah, got some other things and then you got some coupons and blah blah blah. But yeah. Around 200 Norwegian crowns for this piece of crap. crappy ground, it's completely dull from uh, factory. It got a huge, huge 
flat spot there. It's yeah, it's nearly hollow ground. <laughs> I mean, come on, it, it, that's side flat ground uh, with some irregularities. This feels like it's nearly hollow. I'm gonna put it completely flat just to see. Like I was sharpening the ura on my channel, give I'm gonna see. If not, the entire side is scratched, we know. And the stone is dead flat. I flattened it before with a, a Tuma 140. Look, you see all those irregularities. Yeah. I didn't need to put it flat on that side, but yeah. Just gonna do it that way. I don't care about scratch patterns uh, to make it flat. And I'm using uh, maybe 10 kilos of pressure here. Lots of pressure. Um, you see, I'm making my hands white to get the stone cutting this crap. I'm sorry I'm negative because after this the knife is gonna be great. Raising it a little again. I don't know how this has flipped to quality control, but yeah. I'm also thinning the crap out of the tip. And you can see my videos. I'm not a novice sharpener, I'm not a master, but I'm pretty skilled with the Weston. I would call myself well, a very good sharpener. By far not a master, I'm not a Japanese sharpening master, but yeah, I'm very talented with the stones, I can tell you that. I don't want to lie, so. I've sharpened many hundred knives for other people as well, and they are always happy, my knives are always good and sharp, so. Yeah, I'm do this side completely flat. To see if it's similar. Got the Nagura there, or the dressing stone, call it whatever you want, it's a dressing stone. Some like to call it a Nagura, but yeah, it's a dressing stone. I use that on the Otoshi. Let's see, yeah, it's as I said. Now you saw I put the uh, both knives flat. This is one side, you see here, I'm not hitting. You see. This is other side, so yeah, terrible ground. I'm just gonna continue by lowering and lining, making it convex. <laughs> it's important when you first sharpen to get a thin knife. I want my knife to cut. can make this as good, except the steel that's way too soft, but I can make it cut as good as, yeah, many other knives. And look at that perfect stone. 
no build up at all. That looks good, I'm gonna move to the very edge and I'm putting that around 15 to 18 degrees. to get rid of the original factory better. The factory edge is terrible. That's too, I got a huge spur on the heel. Like here, huge spur. Here nearly none, so apparently it's a lower angle there. No oh, higher angle, sorry. So yeah. It has a lot when they can't make the knife better than this guy. Of course all the knives aren't this, but yeah. They have huge quality control issues. But people that buy them are happy because yeah. People don't know what sharp is, what a good knife is. If they used one of the Takamura knives, Shibata Kotetsu, Akonosuke, Masakage, Fujiwara, even a Tojiro, they would be more happy than ever. But they don't know. They're used to this crap, so everything is good for. Still a little hair. Apparently got a little dip here in the edge, so yeah, fun, fun, fun. Yep, there we got it. Repeating the same steps here. Putting my elbow in. So. My arm using very light pressure, not to bend the edge since it's so damn soft. The same air, it won't bear hair. I'm gonna switch it up. because it's thin and light to cut like silver skin and uh, process steaks etc. This 
this is a very burr stubborn steel I'm actually gonna cut the very burr off just using the weight of the knife cutting the very edge off there just making sure this is flat I don't Quickie. I'm gonna do it better next time. Okay. Rinse and repeat. Just gonna get it started with some mud and. Filming, starting flat. I'm gonna let it dry out just a little bit to make sure it yeah, has a gritty feel to it. Want it to grip the knife. So. It's good just to polish it that way. That's about all it took on this time. We'll do a very couple gentle with a cinto to get rid of the burr. the sucker out I'm just gonna give it a quick strop on my pants leg Checking the edge. It feels okay actually. Can't see any light forming, so got some paper here. <laughs> That's much better. As you see. Finally sharp. 
on the tip like that as you see so yeah so about half an hour work I don't know how well you can see this but yeah it's got a more convex geometry down to the blade it's gonna cut better now but yeah it looks like crap but yeah I don't care it's a cutter it's a meat processor so if you like the video please press like subscribe leave a comment thank you Hi.